hello guys welcome back to another video so google they've just updated their ai studio if if you've been following google for um a while now for the past two three months you notice that they've been dropping a lot of updates for gemini and dropping different versions they've dropped a um, lot of um versions of gemini and it has raised the bar a lot i don't i'm not even talking about just the um, vo3 I'm just talking about the um, la um, large language model, their LLM, and it has been insane. So recently, um, a couple of days ago, they just dropped um, some updates. Now, these updates, they are like a game changer for the AI world. Now, with this new update, you can actually create podcasts. Now, you can literally um, use two different hosts select from two um, different voices and select two different hosts and then you can rename them so you can if you maybe want to generate a dialogue for your characters or for your storyline or for your podcast you would have the ai understand that oh okay this is the person speaking and this is the other person speaking i know it doesn't make sense i'll explain all of this later um, later in the video but first of all if you're in the google um, German, uh, Google AI Studio, you're going to have this page where you have URL context, native speech generation, which is the their, um, TTS or text-to-speech um, model now. Then the live audio to audio or audio to video dialogue, which is a video that I've done, how you can literally use Gemini to teach you whatever you don't know. So I made a video a couple of, I think a, a month ago, that um, talks about how Gemini or AI could aid you in whatever task you want to do so if let's say you're trying to edit a photo or you're trying to do something or you're trying to code and you are lost or you don't know what to do you can literally just sh um, share your screen to gemini in real time and gemini would walk you through each step for you to get past whether wherever you're stuck or teach you whatever you don't know now this is um an image i just imputed with this um the image generator and then i imputed this image you can see here this is the image so i gave gemini an instruction i told it to make the ladies and um, lady have blue hair and gemini made her changed just her hair you can notice it is the same person nothing else changed in the background nothing else changed her clothing didn't change just her hair which is absolutely insane so you can now edit whatever you want in real time you don't even have to stress now then i asked make her jacket blue you can see it made the jacket blue just the jacket he changed just the jacket you can see this is absolutely insane that's how amazing gemini this gemini um, image editor or image model is now i said make her wear glasses you can see she's now wearing glasses that's just insane and now you can access gemini from using the flash preview image generation but you can just go here like i said and click on native image generation and you can get started with gemini image generation now the next thing is this um speech generation now if i come here you can see they already have a sample here now what you want to do here is if you see here you can see read aloud in a warm welcoming tone now this is the prompt speaker one hello we are excited to show you our native speech capabilities now this is let's assume that you're trying to create a podcast with two hosts this speaker one is going to be the first host speaker two is going to be the second host now whatever you um impute here it has to correspond with whatever is here so for example this is where you're going to choose your the name of your speaker or you're going to set the name of the character that is actually speaking in your audio in your video so if i come here i say maybe there are two characters in my video josh and ellie i'll have to come here and change the speaker one to josh and then i'll have to select a male character so I have, to, I have to choose a male um, um, voice for this um, Josh, because Josh is a, is a man. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to assume that this is the woman. So I'm just going to say Ellie. This is Ellie. And then the speaker two, I can just say this is Josh. So once I have this set, now they'll know that Ellie is actually using this voice voice um over here like this um vo voice on the gemini um, list of voices then josh is actually using this one called pork now you would have to rename it here in your prompt so speaker one now since i've changed it to josh 
um, to um, Ellie. I'll have to rename it Ellie here. And then I'll have to come to speaker 2 and rename it Josh. So once I'm done with that, you can see it has changed it here in real time. Now, I'll type whatever I want or if I have a script, I'll just copy my script and put here for um, Ellie. Whatever Ellie is going to say, I'm going to paste it here. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Copy all of them and paste and paste like a prompt. So if let's say Ellie is going to talk and Josh is going to talk and then Ellie is going to talk and then Josh is going to talk. I'm just going to be doing that. So I'll just copy it like this. And then paste it again and then put the other um, dialogue here. And once I'm done, I'll just generate, click on run. Once you click on run, it's going to generate the audio. So you can see podcast transcript, audio voice assistant movie scene script so there are different scenarios that you would want to use these options here so if i click on run you can see it's going to take a while to a short while to load and then you're going to we're going to have the voiceover for the characters in the video this is absolutely insane and this is a game changer you know prior to this you would either have to use um something like 11 labs or any other um, text-to-speech um, platform out there, which is like a tedious process. But with this um, latest development here in Google, you can literally do this easily. And this wouldn't even take you any time for you to um, get your dialogue completely done here, generated with AI. And now this is the result. Hello. We're excited to show you our native speech capabilities. Where you can direct a voice, create realistic dialogue, and so much more. Edit these placeholders to get started. Hello. We're excited to show you our native speech capabilities. Where you can direct a voice, create realistic dialogue, and so much more. Edit these place. This is absolutely insane. This is just mind-blowing. We've actually come a long way, but a lot of people are not taking advantage of the um, power of artificial intelligence. And that's why a lot of people are going to be left in the past and it's going to be really bad for a lot of people if you do not harness the power of artificial intelligence right now to either implement it in your business or look for a way to start a business around artificial intelligence or look for a way to offer a service to either a company or a business or an individual it doesn't matter you should be harnessing the power of artificial intelligence right now you can see the capabilities of this google um, studio and you can completely try all of this all of their tools now for free it is absolutely insane and this is the the worst that ai can get it is never going to be this bad or this good anymore it's, going, it's just going to go um further we're just going to have um better better um, results better image generation better video generation better um text to speech everything is just going to better um coding capabilities better reasoning it's just going to be an exponential growth when it comes to the capabilities of artificial intelligence and you should be taking advantage of this this is mind-blowing so if you actually want to do the other thing i said like if you want ai to actually teach you whatever you want let's say you have photoshop open and you want to um edit a picture or you want to do whatever you want to do let's say you want to edit the video you have CapCut open or you have premiere pro you can literally just come here to stream if you come here to stream you can either ask um gemini to um talk or to share um, your webcam if you have a webcam or share your screen now this is a share your screen that you would want to use so if you click on share your screen if i click on share my screen now you can see gemini is just going to ask me where i want to share and i'll just click here and i'll click on share now gemini can actually see everything happening in my screen so i'll just select on allow i using this site and I'm just going to, to start talking. I'm just going to say, hello, Gemini. So how can I help you today? Yeah. So how do I, um, let's say, open the YouTube website? Can you teach me how to do that? Sure. I can guide you through that. First, please open your web browser. Once it's open, you should see an address bar at the top. In that address bar... Okay. Continue, I'm listening. Now, could you please type in www.youtube.com into that address bar? After you've typed it, okay. press the enter key on your keyboard.
Okay, I've done that. Great. Your browser should. Wow, that's. Yeah, it's his open YouTube. That's amazing. So, um, what is YouTube? How do I navigate YouTube? Can you walk me through everything here? Can you see my screen? Yes, I can see your screen. YouTube is a popular platform where you can watch various videos. At the top, you'll see a search bar where you can type in keywords to find videos you're interested in. Below that, you'll find a feed of recommended videos based on your viewing history. On the left side, there's a menu with options like home, shorts, subscriptions, and library, which help you navigate different parts of the site. Okay, I can see all of that. So how do I search on YouTube? To search for videos, click on the search bar at the top and type in what you're looking for. For example, if you want to watch videos about cats, type in funny cat videos and press enter. YouTube will then display results related to your search. Okay, I don't want to search about funny cats video, but there's something I want to search. I want to search for VO3, the latest um, video generator by Google. So I just typed in that. Okay, well, can I you, see the... Uh, can, you, can you actually see my screen right now? Yes, I can see the search results for VO3 on your screen. You should now well, see a list... What's on my screen? What's on my screen? What am I pointing at? You're looking at the YouTube search results page for VO3. The top part of your screen shows some video shorts, and below that, you'll find a list of longer videos related to your search term. You can scroll down... Okay. Th that's right. You're now seeing a mix of shorter video clips called shorts and longer videos related to VO3. You can click on... So you literally just saw this in real time and you can see the capabilities of Gemini. It is absolutely mind-blowing. I am actually short of words to explain how insane this is for the future of... Um, of video, the future of image, the future of um, everything, in fact, is this is just going to be a huge disruption in our future. And you should be taking advantage of artificial intelligence. I'm just, I'm in shock. I'm in shock, actually. So that's just about it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.